What is happening to our little people of the forest? Why are their numbers declining? What is being done to help this problem? The Archie's frog is one of four frogs left in the Leo Palmatidae family. It is native to New Zealand with only a small amount of them left, maybe only 2,000. For a long time, the Archie's and Hoxeter's frog were classified as the same until new technology showed otherwise. The Hoxeter's frog has webbed feet when the Archie's does not. The Hoxeter's also has a rough skin type, unlike the Archie's. In fact, the Archie's frog got its name from Mr. Archie from Auckland Museum, the man who first recognised the difference between a Hoxeter's and an Archie's frog. The Archie's frog is normally found under rocks. Because they are a similar colour to their surroundings, they are really hard to see. They are only found in the Coromandel area and near Tikawiri. The Archie's frog is unique. It is one of the world's only frogs not to croak. Instead it makes a high pitched noise. As well as it being one of the rarest frogs, it is one of the world's smallest and most ancient. It also has a different way of breeding. It has no tadpole stage, instead its tadpoles grow inside its egg and hatches froglets, tiny frogs with a tail. It also catches insects with its mouth, not tongue. This is peace and quiet, a great environment for a little helpless frog to live in. But it has to share this with rats, pigs and other threats to its survival, such as disease, weed sprays, pesticides, fungus, deforestation and weather change. These are the main causes to put Archie's frog close to extinction. In one coromandel area, numbers declined by 88% between the years 1996 and 2001. Frogs use their skin to breathe and take in moisture, but the chytrid fungus damages their skin. Scientists are frantically trying to find a cure because the chytrid fungus is killing frogs all over the world and has caused a huge crash in frog numbers. Sometimes the frog is found dead with just its body left, with no insides, which is an indication that a rat has been in the area. We travelled up to Tapu, Corriglen Road to meet with Dr Ben Bell, a scientist from Victoria University who is conducting his annual survey of the Archie's frog. Is the chytrid fungus still a problem to these native frogs? Well, that, that's one thing uh, we're, we're investigating. We're looking at animals which have got the fungus to see how long they live. Uh, we know they can live for at least 12 months with the fungus. We found that much out, but we don't know really what the long-term effects are. Are the frog numbers still declining? They're not declining or increasing. We'd hope they would be increasing again, but they haven't. They're staying at a low level. A swab is used to test the frogs to see if they have any disease. To do this, they must rub the swab on the frog's tummy. Weighing the frog is often used to see what gender the frogs are. They can tell because the female frog is bigger than the male. When being weighed, the frog is put on the scales, but every so often, the frog will jump. This is a photo shoot for frogs. It is so they can accurately identify each frog for future reference. The mirror captures all sides of the frog. Archie's frog has been down in numbers for many years. Scientists have been tracking it for a long time and has never come back in numbers. But with extra effort from people like Dr Ben Bell and Doc, we can hope that the frog won't become extinct in the future. <laughs>